Third Day's Art Studio, and I am bringing you the DD April Art Box, which is coming out and available now as this video is landing. I hope you guys like the video. I hope you guys enjoy the box. It's a beautiful little dainty box. It's only about $42. It's on my lower end of boxes price-wise, but you get a lot of really beautiful things in this box. So I hope you can head over to dryerdaysartstudio.com and check it out. So here's a real quick little video I put on socials of the box. So you're gonna get this little egg mold here. The gold green color cream in 30 milliliters. This is a really cool green. I love it, you could do a lot with this color. Easter egg, which is a beautiful matte lavender. Obviously, color cream pigment paste. And then for micas, you're gonna get the baby pink. You're gonna get 10 grams of this. The camera just really doesn't do baby pink justice. It's almost like an opal in there. It's very pretty. And as well as the light gold uh, shimmer mica here as well, the light doesn't do it any justice. It's one of my favorites. For glitters, you're gonna get a sample of the opal and you're gonna get peachy, which is brand new. I don't even have this listed in my store yet. It is coming very soon. I have it. I just haven't gotten it in the store, but you're gonna get some of that in the box. Here is a really jazzed up egg. Here's a little coaster I made with some of the stuff. And so I just wanted to uh, do a real quick video of the egg that I made. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of times in these videos, I'm like, I love this piece. I am so happy with how it turned out. I'm not real over the moon with this egg and it's because I was rushing. I was really trying to rush and get this video done and get it out because I was really excited about this box and um, I didn't treat the resin with the patience that I should have and this was a little rushed. So that's why I'm not totally thrilled with it, but we're gonna start at the very tip of the egg with the light gold shimmer here, a little tiny bit mixed up in my cup and we're gonna put that into the egg to start off. I'm really aiming it right into the middle because I don't wanna get hardly, I don't wanna get really any on the rest of the edges. Sorry, my camera here, I'm trying to get like the best angle. Um, I didn't wanna get a lot of that pigmented resin on the sides of the egg. So I'm gonna really try to balance it right over the middle of the opening and drizzle it very gently in. Okay, and the resin that I'm using is Total Boat, and you can pour about three quarters of an inch to an inch deep with Total Boat. I've done that before, but um, I am not finessing the resin very good. I should have waited a little bit longer in between layers. I waited about uh, anywhere from eight to 12 hours in between layers, because again, I was trying to get this done really quick. So this layer here that I did was baby pink beautiful color and then you can see my little hexagon coaster there any leftover resin I had I was incorporating into these coasters here I did do a coaster um, set with a matching hexagon holder with some of the Razo from Total Boat which I am loving it's so much fun it's a really cool product I wanted to try to get that video out to you guys this week it was actually my kids spring break and I'm really behind schedule and again this video was kind of a rush and so I'm going to be getting that video guys to you soon. It's again using the Razo product from them, uh, which kind of gives some really cool texture uh, to pieces. You can add a specific micas and different pigments to it. It's a really, really cool product. Next, we're going to use the peachy. So again, we've let some time go. With that layer there, that layer was actually a really good one, um, but I did it at night and then my girls called me upstairs for something and I forgot to come back down and babysit it and check for bubbles. So you can see in the little egg there how there's like a ton of bubbles that rose. Um, the layer looks pretty good itself. There's just a lot of bubbles around the top of that layer there. Uh, so I should have come back down and popped some more bubbles and been a little bit more mindful of what I had going on. Again, that's totally operator error uh, and just kind of being flighty and not babysitting my resin like I should have. The peachy here is so gorgeous. It has pink, it has peach, it has gold different holographic inflections in there. It's multi-sized, chunky, and as you can see, it's a little bit translucent. So it's really beautiful. We're just gonna pour that in there. Same thing, going right dead center and pouring it right in with a little spout on my cup to try to get no spillage and no drips anywhere else on that mold. Okay. 
Okay, and next up we have the Easter egg layer, which is that beautiful matte lavender color. I really dig this color a lot. It's very cool. Uh, this layer is the one that probably went the most awry. And the reason is because I warmed up my resin in, I like to put like some warm water in the sink and kind of create a little bath for the resin. I used to use a space heater. Um, and now I, I tend to just put it in a warm water bath, either in the tub or in the sink. And I really made this resin way too hot. And then I poured it way too deep. So I could tell it was already starting to overheat. Again, totally operator error. This was my fault. I knew it. I knew it going in and I kind of just said a little prayer to the resin gods, hoping it would work out. Um, and then I came in and hit it with some heat and that just made it even more hot. Um, and so we got a lot of bubbles in this layer. Um, again, just rushing, uh, trying to warm it up too fast and just causing a lot of problems on my own. Okay, next layer, we're going to do opal. So you can see, again, all the bubbles there that I created in that layer. And once again, I am waiting hours between layers here to make sure they are fully cured and hard before I'm coming in with another layer. Oh, there's that coaster there. You can see how beautiful it turned out. And we're just going to lay in now some of this beautiful opal. I'm going to bring in another coaster that I wasn't real happy with how it turned out because I did mix up a lot of opal here that I don't end up using. This is a new glitter to my store. Um, it's very, very pretty. And I actually used it in some of my nails. In case you guys didn't know, I started my own gel nail polish line. I'm super excited about it. I will link that below as well. You'll see a little flash of my nails later, and I'll tell you what I have on them. I have always just been obsessed with doing nails and... I have been doing my own since I was in elementary school. I've had them done professionally. I have them done like all the time. It's been a pet peeve of mine in my videos when I'm demolding stuff or showing artwork to like have my nails done. It's just like a pet peeve. Like, you know, I just, I have to have mine done personally. Um, so the gel polish just kind of seemed like the next natural step and I can use my glitters in it as well. So anyway, just check that out if you want, if you guys are into nails as well. And if not, that's cool too. And the last layer to round out our little egg here is going to be using the green gold or the gold green, excuse me. I actually thought this was going to be my least favorite color and I love it. This came out so pretty in the egg. I can't wait to use this in like a geode piece and in some other coasters, but we are just going to fill out the rest of the egg mold with this beautiful gold green. And I'm going to fill out the rest of that little coaster there that I have that I filled out with some opal glitter and resin. Yeah, we're just gonna fill this out and we're gonna let it cure and I'm gonna come in in about 48 hours to demold this beautiful little egg. All right, so here we go. Come in gently with gloves on. Try to slide a little finger in there, kind of on each side, and just pull and peel back. Oh, I went off camera because sometimes I like brace it against my stomach <laughs> and pull back on the sides. There we go. And just work it down, work it down. I mean, I think this is really cute. I am a perfectionist, and so I was a little upset with some of my own lack of babysitting and bubble creation in the egg, but this is pretty darn cute. But I'm pointing out there the bubbles and stuff. I'm just going to file or sand the bottom here a little bit to get any of those edges. Look at the beautiful little stand on the bottom when you fill out the mold the whole way. It's just so cute. And of course, as always, I'm going to have all these products available individually in my store. That peachy will be in there soon, but I do have some of these egg molds. I have all the other pigments and glitters available. Um, this box is available for sale. I have very limited quantities of this box. And again, it's about $42. It's on the lower spectrum uh, of my boxes. It will ship priority and international orders are welcome. Here I just included some time-lapse video. I was doing a little bit of embellishing because I was not happy with this. So I was like trying to save it. Like, oh, maybe if I put some gold dots on, it'll hide some of the bubbles. And I was like, that's not really doing it. I need to maybe do some of these puffy lines. And then I had way too much coffee. So like my line was all over the place. Ooh, there you can see my nail. My nails have that opal glitter on them. Yeah, just coming around like, God, you know, and then using the nails, to like fix the lines, just really manageable. Everybody not chaotic at all.
Just using some of my favorite metallic markers that I got on Amazon. Of course, that will all be listed in the video description below. Any kind of extra tools like this or gloves and just everything else I use in my studio, I usually get on Amazon and I link everything in every video. And here I'm trying things. I'm taking some things off. Oh, it was just a lot, guys. It was a lot. So there's the egg. Obviously, you're not going to get that in the box. Thank God, right? But um, head over dryerdaysartstudio.com to get your box today. I hope you guys love it. I hope you're having a great spring season. I'm so ready for warmer weather. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you so much. And until next time, keep on pouring.